Say I'm proud of you, Justin. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Jackson Twins YouTube channel, guys. Listen, we are so excited that you're here. I need you to do me a big favor right now, and that is to hit that subscribe button. And when you do, make sure you turn on that bell. And listen, make sure when you, uh, after you do that, make sure you comment down below to let us know that you did. And so the Jackson Twins can shout you out. That's right, the Jackson Twins are getting ready to start doing shout out notifications. So make sure you have that bell on and make sure you uh, hit the subscribe but if you have not done that, you're going to miss out of getting shout outed by the Jackson Twins, guys. Listen, we're so excited that you're here today. We have some fun things in store. Listen, get ready, get ready. If you don't know, the Jackson Twins are on Instagram. They're on uh, Facebook. So you need to head over there right now. Hit the follow button and hit the like button. That's right. They're on Instagram and facebook so don't you miss them listen we're so excited listen get ready get set listen get your popcorn get your get favorite food get your favorite drink and listen you'll get ready to watch and see the jackson twins so listen let's get started let's go come on let's go so guys today i have here justin justin <laughs> and i have marcel so guys i have justin and marcel here do you know what today is <laughs> Is it morning or nighttime? Morning. Uh, it's it's like afternoon, but that was a good try. So guys, one thing we've been doing is we've been distinguishing the time of the day, so whether it's morning or nighttime. And so the kids do really good with it, but I'm learning that we need a middle one because it's not really morning, but it's not really nighttime to them because nighttime is usually when we do um, bedtime. So how about we say morning, afternoon, and night. So right now it's afternoon. Can you say afternoon? Afternoon. Okay. Okay. So guys, um, that's one thing we're working on. Morning, afternoon, night. So I just add afternoon. So um, make sure you guys keep watching our next videos because you'll really see like how they're learning when it comes to the morning, afternoon edition and nighttime. But what song do you guys want to sing? I saw... Before we got started, Justin wanted to do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you want to do Itsy Bitsy Spider, Justin? You want to do Itsy Bitsy Spider? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain. Watch the spider out. Okay, okay, one more time. Ready? Everybody got the Itsy Bitsy? Itsy Bitsy? Itsy bit. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Now, this is the other part. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. That's the whole song. What you think? You like it? Yeah. Was it good? 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 good. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? First of all, let me give you a big hand clap for doing this. Y'all did good. Yeah. 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 Um, what are your favorite things to do? Outside. You like to go outside? Outside. What do you do when you go outside? Oh, well, look at houses. Yeah, we do look at houses when we go outside. We like say, you know, what color the houses are because there's different doors. What about you, um, Justin? When you go outside, what do you like to do? Basketball. Basketball. Can you say basketball? One thing Justin loves to do is he loves to play with basketballs when we go outside. He kind of likes any kind of ball that bounces really high. He loves those type of things. What else do you like? You like to play with the leaves? Can you say leaves? Yeah. He also likes to play with the leaves outside. So he's very, very like hands on when it comes to like um, things outside. Like he loves to like the dirt, everything. He just loves all the textures and stuff. So that's one thing that they love to do. Hey, so have you been working on your manners? Yeah. How you been doing with them? Doing good? Yeah. When someone sneezes and go, ah, choo. Ah, choo. What do you say? Bless you. Good. That was really good. Let's see, do you remember any, Justin? 
Yes, mm. thank you. You guys did really, really good. I'm super proud. High five. I'm proud of you guys. Give each other a big high five. Or give yourself a hand clap. really just been transparent about on our channel ever since the beginning is just um justin's walk with autism so it was about a year or two ago i can't remember exactly to the t but we found out it had it was like two years ago um that we found out that justin had autism and i will say it's definitely been a journey but it's been one that we have definitely taken on with stride and always um put the best first and um and always just looked to look into the journey of positivity and just um, a good perspective. And uh, one thing that really has, I guess one part of the autism that has really affected Justin is really with his speech. Um, he's super, super smart intellectually. Like if you really look at our videos, he knows his colors, he knows a lot of different words. Um, but it's like, being able to communicate, that's what I mean to say, not so much um, the speech, but being able to actually communicate and have a conversation, that's where he is really impaired. Um, and so I know it has been tough, especially for Marcel too, because kids thrive off of communication with each other and um, just being able to communicate with his brother, he's always wanted his brother to kind of talk more to him, but it's hard for Justin to express um, how he feels. But I will say that it has been really good because in one way, because with the men twins, they still have their own language because Marcel can still sometimes figure out what Justin needs even more than um, I can sometimes. So I will say they still have that connection. Um, but Marcel, as his brother, still, you know, sometimes wants him to be able to say verbally what it is that he needs when they have different conversations. But do you love your brother? Can you give him a big hug? And guys, they love each other so much. When I say they will literally fuss and they will literally fight, but they don't ever take them apart. They literally love each other so much. Justin, all right, Marcel. Justin, you give your brother a hug, Justin. Y'all, see, they love each other so, so much. And I always love that for them. Give each other a kiss. Give your brother a kiss on the cheek. So ask Justin, say, how you doing? Yeah. No, ask Justin. Yeah. So like they have their own way um, that they talk. Ask Justin, say, um, what do you want to do, Justin? so silly but I will say one thing I love about them is they do have their own communication so even though it may be hard for others to I'm sorry even though it may be hard for others to understand Justin Marcel and Justin have their own like way of understanding each other and I love that for them and um of course we in the household we um understand Justin too but that's one thing about autism um that has really affected Justin is just like the communication piece and to focusing you know he does have a tough time focusing if you notice in our videos he does kind of drift away sometimes but it's just because there's a lot racing in his mind his mind is just so so busy um and so i'm excited because he'll be starting like an in-home school here soon that'll be working with him even more in depth um but we're just proud of um just justin's journey can you give justin a big hug say i'm proud say i'm proud of you justin They are so silly, guys. But um, I, I just love their relationship. I love their communication. We made sure that even with our other children, um, as they started reaching a certain age, we checked them for autism. We did that M chat and made sure they were all good and everyone else is doing really good. Everyone else is meeting their milestones. And Justin does meet his milestones in other areas. So he it may be a speech issue that he has, but you know, physical and just intellectual, all those milestones he meet, which I really, really love. Um, I'm really, really proud of. But we've been proud of his journey. Um, some people, they think Justin can't talk, um, but he can. The autism just really impairs his ability to talk uh, and communicate in the way that um, you may see other children do. But I'm proud of him. I'm proud of his journey. 
Give me a big high five, Justin. And then, and another thing too, guys. One thing with Justin, sit back, sit back. Another thing too, um, I will say about Justin is even when we're talking, it may seem as if Justin is in that law land, which he got a lot on his mind, lots of racing. He still can hear you, so he may be looking that way. But when you say sit back, he knows to sit back. He's still very much there. So I'm proud of him. We love him, and I just want to give you guys really an update just on his journey and just give me your hand, give me your hand. His journey and um, just where he is. Well, can you guys say thanks for watching? Thank you for watching. Say subscribe. Yeah. Justin. And Justin. Bye. Good. Bye.